All right, YT friends, let's go in this Dollar General and see what we can find. Hello, YT friends. This is Rita. I just want to come to you real quick with my Dollar General clearance haul. I got all of these items um, on clearance. They were half off. I only had um, two coupons, a dollar off of each one of these. And I had a dollar off of two for the Viva pop-ups. The Viva pop-ups were one of the best items that you can get today. Let me just say, as far as the Secret Active and the Secret Sprays, I purchased them from CVS. They were on clearance. For all five of them, I paid $3.81. So go check out your local CVS because they are on sale and there are coupons in your February PNG. So let me just say this. I had an experience, but I will not uh, let it get to me because I will definitely go to another Dollar General clearance. Just to let you know, please do your due diligence. Please do your homework and um, check prices. Check prices, check prices, check prices. If it doesn't have an orange sticker and you feel like it's on clearance, check the price. But anyway, on my first, I went to three stores. On my first store, I purchased the clock. It was $4.50. I purchased the snuggles down there. It was $0.90. Cent. I purchased the air week. It was $0.12. Cent. I purchased some Hanes underwear. They were $2.67. And I purchased the socks, and they were $2.22. I also purchased these here. They were $0.85 cents a piece minus $0.50 cents off. And I purchased a tempered glass um, microwave thing or oven thing for $2.50. Okay. Along with this particular deal on the first store, the 5 off of 25 did not come off. And also, I did a big return of the Suave Shampoo, Suave Conditioner, Suave Kids um, Body Wash, and the Chic Razors. I took all of them back because they did not come up um, on, at the clearance price. And the manager acted like he didn't want to, um, you know, once I went back into the store, he acted like he didn't want to change the price. And I've seen since me purchasing them that some managers will change the price for you because they are clearance out or they are discontinued. But this particular manager didn't want to do it. I took all of them back. My original um, my original total was $32.19 after my coupons. And that's for all the items, okay? All right, so it was $36.26 with tax. I took all of those items back and the guy, I let the guy know that my five off of 25 did not come off. He gave me $5. He did something with an item and gave me $5 and I still wanted to return them and I did. And when I returned them, going back to my car is $37.56. Why? I don't know. I don't know how Dollar General's return policy works. I don't know, but I did not get the coupons back. So my original price before coupons, I believe, I think it was 50 something dollars. After the coupons, it came out to $32. I did the return. I didn't get the coupons back. And he put back $37 back on my card. Like I said, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> so I don't know if I didn't pay for these seven items. Or if the coupons added up to, but it couldn't because I had some good coupons. I had those chic $4 coupons. I had the swab um, $3 off of two. I had a swab uh, $1 off of two. Yeah, I had those coupons. So no, it, I don't, I, you know what? I don't know. But again, I'm good. I'm good. So these are from the first store. The second store, I purchased the brawny paper towels here. I bought three of them and they were $1.55 each and that was half off, which made them 70 something cents, 77 cents. I purchased, oh, real quick, sorry. I also purchased this cup, this little tumbler, originally $6 on clearance for $4.50 and I got it for $2.25. I love this little cup, 10 ounces, so it's good for my coffee. That was at the first store and that anchor hockey. Okay, back to the second store. I purchased one of the Viva pop-ups. That was the best deal in the world. They rung up $1.35. And at this time, my coupon is a dollar off of two. I didn't get the 50 cent off of one. So I just purchased that one. And then I purchased this Tide. It was $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80, $1.80
I purchased this Tide here, 43 count. It was $4.02. I purchased this Old Spice, $1.80. I had a dollar off. And I purchased this Shower Liner set. It was re regularly $6. I got it for 3 And then I just want to show you some um, kitchen things that I picked up. Like I said, I didn't have, after that first store, I didn't have no other coupons, not really, anyway. So, I just got some things that me and my wife would like. Got these dishcloths. They were 75 cents. And it's two, 75 cents. And this color as well, 75 cents. And then I purchased some more dishcloths. A pack of two. This was 65 cents, I believe. And I got that color twice and I got this color and they were half off a dollar thirty cents and then I purchased some like a three-piece kitchen set regular price at three seventy five and it was half off and I also purchased a green one which was three seventy five with half off I total for this from the second store it was really really good like I said I only had Two coupons plus my five off of 25. It was $23.68. All right. And then my last store, which is where I purchased the Viva pop up, I purchased six of them. They were $1.35 each, and I had a dollar off of two. And my subtotal was $5.10. So again, my first store, whew, it, it was something about something else about that store. But it's okay because that's my home store. That's the store that I go to anyway. But this particular deal, these clearance deals, like I said, my manager was not willing to change the price on the Suave, period. And also, I had picked up a lot of gain because it was by the clearance section. It was right at the top of the clearance section. I did a 5 off of 25 in my head. I figured it out, went to the cashier. And none of that was on clearance. None of it was on clearance. So that was a bust. And like I said, then I went for my second time to the cashier with all of this suave shampoo, conditioner, body wash. None of that was on clearance. I did see it online as being on clearance. And I also um, did some prices. I also asked, you know, I went and did some, did some prices. And the three items I did not do the price on, those were the items that were not on sale. And there were a lot of other items, but, you know, they did a price check for me. No problem. But those particular items, because I'm just thinking they had that 10% off, they'll, run, they'll ring up. No problem. But, no, it was a wrap. It was, it was a problem. Like I said, I went to my car. She rung up everything. I paid everything. Went to my car. And I just returned it. I just returned all of it. And like I said, on my um, on my return back to my card is thirty seven dollars and fifty six cents. But I only paid thirty six dollars and twenty six cents. And mind you guys, I did not have this. It, I did not take th these seven items that I did not take back in the store, period. Oh, I got these from the second store. So I'm trying some Hershey cherry cheesecake. Y'all ever heard of that? But anyway, they were on clearance for 40, 43 cents or 42 cents. I got that from the second store. But my first store, whoo, mm -mm. if y'all have any questions or comments, just um, put them down below. Please follow me on Instagram. I will be posting a photo of all of this stuff. But I had a time, but again, it did not deter me from going to the next one. Hopefully, I have some better, you know, I... I will get it next time I will get it but do your due diligence even though you see pictures online with clearance pricing price check price check price check do not get caught up at the cash register and the items are totally different it was so many items I did price checks on but like I said the three that I didn't do because I was kind of confident the three that I didn't do they were not on clearance and that manager at the first store was not willing to do any overrides for me which Congratulations on everyone who got overrides for their stuff. That is wonderful, great, fantastic, you know, but that store wasn't willing. So I just purchased some things that me and my wife wanted. So always, 
always purchasing that you're going to use and that your family needs, please like, comment, and subscribe. I will um, post a picture at the end of this video, but um, comment, like, subscribe, thumbs up my video, please. Again, this is the Dollar General Clearance Event, and it was an event. The first store, anyway. I went to a total of three stores. So, anyway, again, the man gave me a $5 bill because my $5 off 25 did not ring up with the first order. Anyway, let me show you real quick if I can. Right there. That's how my Viva pop-ups look. All the way over to my Tide Simplies. All right. So, again, please like, comment, and subscribe. And enjoy your day at Dollar General or whatever you're doing. And it's raining in Florida, so I'm just sitting in the house. Bye. Hello, YT. I also want to show you what this particular store dollar section looks like. Very organized. Very organized. Some name brand stuff here. So, this fashion brand. It's two plus one dollar out. Small, good. But this is their dollar section. Really oh, nice and organized. And the stores also. Like I said, this is my second store. So if I would have showed y'all my first store, the dollar section, forget it. Okay. Yeah, I'll be back.